knights. Leave us be, we beg you. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Here, Short, we share your joy. You must forgive us our uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. The tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Things are coming! Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. <laughs> <laughs> he mean us? I, Palmer and Delonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores, abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> <laughs> right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off while we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a fear of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Yeah! <laughs> 
Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantrus, lifted Oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, it is true what folk claim. In the North, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... It is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifils nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Crossed City's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect. But of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal, at worst, a diplomatic incident. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no, just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you, yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint!
sand, the land of fluff and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron! Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace.
brave kid, Guillaume. Parmarin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Come on, Roach. Hey, uh. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around, make sure they didn't miss anything. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Got guests. Careful. Oh, my name is not Milton de Perak up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. We're gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. Look at the rut. Guardsmen left this site by boat, recently, probably to transport the body somewhere. were attached here. Clearly, be nice to know where they took the corpse. What now? This isn't the site of the murder, we know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets, 
Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet, of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water, monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions, no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did, but I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I'd feared I would... Return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Palmrick's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. Keep calm! Start no brawls! A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint! With no lads brave yes, enough? Of course, course we have. He's so brave for his beast. Pile of coin and which and all the powers. Unbelievable. That calls for a witcher. For an age. Ducal clerks looking for help. Could be good coin to be made. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, sir the Peyrak Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrat Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrat Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. 
Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill doers. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codswell. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Ladies, they say a great deal about you, Witcher, and whisper even more. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder, 
but alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a nordling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not if struck on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Show me what you got in stock. Likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. They're truly necessary? And our knights, what are they? Chopped liver? Some alchemical dung from the Empire, then fertilize their binds with it. 
Let you leave. Giving me no choice.
stinks. Waterlogged, both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. The pouch, bulging with coins. Elf guardian florins, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing? Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. More of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, pouch shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess. Move it! Fluted, whatever your heart's desire. Let's see what you got in stock.
know you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent? Here, Master Witcher. Over here.
this one's salutations. It is worse than death. Hammer, Enfield, Bamity, Bam. Music to a smithy's ears. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. It's no disaster like a frontal lobotomy. Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. What have you got there? Care for a quick round of Gwent? Enfield, Bamity Ban. Music to a smithy's ears. A spy, it's a not boars. Where have your journeys taken you, Witcher. last brother? Hail, Percy. You must know I've embarked on a quest of true wonder. A horde of challenges awaits.
were to polish my soul. But, but I did. All night I spent rubbing it, sharpening it, oiling it. On the fuller, a rust stain. On the point, the prints of your greasy fingers. You will pay for this. After. Drink, Miss and he. Eat, drink, and make merry. For tomorrow the beast will devour us all. Appearances deceive, Witcher. Beware. I pledge my love Eat, to win the tournament. We know your name on my lips. But what if another knight proves victorious? Many a valiant man has entered the list this year. If it be so, then I pledge to remain silent and not remove my helmet until I fulfill my first pledge to win next year. Carl Permanente. Welcome, my good sir. Need a bit of grooming. Hair rejuvenation, dandruff annihilation.
Welcome, welcome. Tell me what you'd like. A round of Gwent, maybe? Yes, sir. Uh, our sweet shining sun. Belched forth the roar so horrid, it shook all the birds from the trees. Then what? Out! It's a dog's ass. Duchess, urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pamarin. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tale's for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? 
Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Palmer and Story, think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. A rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a shale mar? some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. This is dangerous. Bells on its tail aren't enough. I saw a special of the sword of the arena in Nunez. There, a nice piece of the Shelmar with bells on its tail. Might have gotten lucky. Shelmar might have been lame. Who knows? Only a Witcher has a real chance against a healthy Shelmar. And that's not even every Witcher. Besides which, releasing a monster that dangerous in front of a crowd? Plain irresponsible. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait.
beast has been weighed by the gods. Soon the witcher shall triumph against all odds. <laughs> Defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! It suffered enough. The last slain! The fight is done! Praised be the victors! Guillaume, the lad came damned close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt, we must talk. Vivian, you shall talk later in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Your grace, my contract. 
I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But wherever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. Yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would entrust with his tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you. But the guardsmen handling the last victim's body... I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him, attentively. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise? It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery's bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a Witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How'd it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? 
Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap, a pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon Dulac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So, first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinci. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it! Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if Knights the... of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues, exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your Grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. 
A knight advanced in years, the famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed the knightly team. It was years ago, but... The... They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Your Grace, we need to find Milton. Immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my night, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses! Ready our horses! Your Grace! <laughs> Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. game is being held. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. I mean, they need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. show you where the hunt plays out, then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish, but I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Gerard. It's not a real fish. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. Try 
runs around over there. Look. The Colton fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix encounters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, we will spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks, gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? are huge. Be better off on horseback. Listen. Wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. 
Prithi cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon its heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. Why, you bomb-botched wretch! He's ruined the game! Disgraceful! Please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Let's see. Groan with ease gives us green, right? And mouse with the head of hard cheese. Greenhouse? You're a genius. Several greenhouses in the gardens, indeed. But only one with the door that locks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse is there. Let's go. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? 
not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left. But you'll not get the chance. to stay where you were. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No. He's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... It... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened, it was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Tetlaf. I fear he's become entangled, landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Seem pretty damn sure of that. I am, because I know him very well. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. 
Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter, regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent, one they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say but intend to find out. Gotta find him, before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I've makeshift quarters at Mela Chaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed.
appearances deceive, Lucia. Still my brother's slave? Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Toussaint. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. When I think of those days of your air fate had bound my life to thine, my heart will What's new, mon ami? A knight is one who does not. My sword marks my path. Fiddlesticks, these numbers don't add up the way I'd like. Oh. Whoa! The Duchess and Greetings, the brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights wander the roads protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Ah, uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash a hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. Can't help but be curious, but where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight may receive a wage. <coughs> Pardon me. Financial compensation for his dedication to defending the Duchy's internal security and order. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is.
Duchess and the chivalric code. To them I swore fealty. Better to avenge Sir Milton than to indulge in mourning. He and his ah. sire have a lot of history. I might have thought so. Have there been any tidings? No. A knight is one who does not what he wishes. Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle, Ganesha petals? How's business? Uh, the coin is good, but just between us, I'm going batty with Baltimore. I know what my customers want before they open their mouths. Bolt men, birch sap. Ladies of all walks, whatever fragrance Duchess Honorietta prefers at the time. If just once somebody would Order some poison, eh? Show me what you've got in stock. for a round of Gwent?
Welcome back, Master. In the mood for a round of Gwent? Do you know the colors you're looking I can into? see on the Dutch's banners? Red, white, and rosé. I got absolutely cuckoo <laughs> selling all dirt cheap. Oh, my. <sighs> Dark secrets taints a fairy tale that she like to sell. Can't afford a barber. Another murder by the horrid beast. Greetings. A witcher. From the school of the wolf, here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarg. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but 
I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I've for years sought diagrams for Witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Would you craft something for me? Of course. these diagrams somehow wound up in Toussaint? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sain, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged a king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you've found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him. Then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. 
cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear-head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a Witcher named Murta. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Farewell. Good luck on the path. To his own cowardice! The beast of Beauclair has struck again! Citizens, beware of the beast! Turn your trim... From the shortcuts? Be careful you do welcome. Herbs freshly picked, dried, powdered. Whatsoever your heart desires. Herbs schmerbs. But how about some Gwent, eh? Shortcuts. Be careful you do not trample any herbs.
Yes, a face no one has got help. Another murder by the horrid beast! Nil to the Peyrak Peyrak! Find anything better in all Toussaint! Welcome, good sir, to Dupont and Sons' Emporium of Diverse Merchandise. Satisfaction guaranteed. Show me what you got back there. Instead of chatting, why not a quick game of Gwent? I stalk the lard of the Duquesa herself!
Welcome, please peruse the best diverse wares in Tucson at the best prices. Instead of chatting, why not a quick game of Gwent? Can't find anything better in all Tucson. in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Show me what you have. Farewell. No, see you later. Serendipity. You I'm so glad you're back. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. 
Got work for me? New contract? Of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank. Come on, no point dallying. Fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. My dear, you're married, but what different? At once. Hmm, we shall long. Sir, if you come Did you care, sir? Our sweet shining sun. your boots before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Mm, what are you serving up today? I know you're busy, but round of Gwent. Eat, drink, and be merry. Thus spake the prophet Leviosa.
eyes of that witch's visit. My dear, but what difference does it make? Please disperse! The exhibition is closed! What's this about? Oh, Lapi, you ought to give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Wait, are you not that famous witch of Carol to Frivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry, a giant among lovers, a poking puncture in swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles. Of a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. It will all work out. It must. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. You shall be whole Dried again. Dried bloodstain. It will all work out. It... Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. Truly, to send a 
witcher against the beast? Oh. It's as if one sought to treat the clap with crabs. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. It will all work out. It must. And married in Tupuso, in Tupuso, life is a night strawberry. And Bohu Claire, Bohu Claire is a love. Interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Hughes! That's not him! I, I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> That's not my husband. You mean, not... Not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Calm down. Just here to talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Uh, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shellacking skeleton! What the hell's this? Rosalinda! One, I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. Y yes That'll be best. I... I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. Uh, Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right. I admit I stole the stones, and you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will 
three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age? That's more than the entire lost decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. Perhaps I... I could lend them to you. For one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You for deal, sir. What's it matter that the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent? My heart near leapt out of my chest last time. Here, you must take the testes and let the elder grant your strength, as I dare say you will need it. Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. They say a great deal about you, Witcher, and whisper 